Welcome to Smart Ass, the game show, where you have to think fast and talk first to win. I'm your host, Bob Moog, M-O-O-G. And joining me is our co-host, AQ. Say hello, AQ. Hello, AQ. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Smart Ass is the Think Smart, Think Fast game show from Universe UG Studios. It's based on the board game Smart Ass, which is available all through the country. The way we play is really easy. We have three rounds and three contestants. In round one, we ask questions describing a mystery topic. It can be a who, a what, or a where. Our contestants are going to compete to try to see who can identify the mystery topic the fastest, and I'll be reading them clues one at a time. In round one, we ask questions um, to our contestants so that they can win at the end of the game gift certificates from RU Game. And stay tuned, our champion could win up to $1 million. All right, are we ready to start? We have three contestants. The first is Craig Hendrickson. He's our returning champ. Say hello, Craig. Hello. Okay. Uh, next, we have Mike Brighty. Mike, could you please give us a little wave so people can see who you are? Hello, everyone. All right, good. And third is Moogie Brooks. And Moogie is uh, playing uh, for his first time on Smart Ass. Uh, he's our rookie. And Moogie, can you say hello? Hello. All right, here we go. So I'm going to start with Moogie. Then I'm going to go to Craig. And then I'm going to go to Mike. And we're going to rotate around. I'm going to give you a clue to a mystery topic. And you take a guess. There's no penalty for wrong guesses. So Moogie, who am I? And here's your first clue. I'm a world-renowned author. You can just guess anyone if you aren't positive of the answer. Uh, J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling is a world-renowned author, but that's not the winner of this mm. card. By the way, in round one, each, each card is worth 10 points, and AQ will keep score for us. This is now for Craig. I was born in Illinois in 1899. So we, in Smart Ass, we put the clues together. This is the same mystery topic. I'm an author born in Illinois in 1899. Who am I, Craig? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to pass. You're going to pass. You can't think of any authors born in Illinois in 1899. I'll bet Mike will know. Mike, hmm. Mike comes from the UK. I probably will know, yes. Here is your clue, Mike. Mike, I wrote about bullfighters in Spain and safaris in Africa okay. in my novels. Bullfighters in Spain and safaris in Africa. So Mike's putting all the clues together. It, they are seeping through his cranium into his cerebellum. And Mike, what is your guess? I'm coming up with nothing. Zero, nothing. fact, nothing. Okay. Sometimes, you know, we find that this game is misnamed. AQ is familiar with this. It's not, sometimes it's not smart ass that we're playing. Sometimes it's dumbass. But we're back to Moogie. Moogie, I lived in Cuba for many years. I would have to read to know any authors, so I'm really at a disadvantage here. Because you don't read. Well, let's see if right. Craig knows the answer. Craig, I do know the answer. I already know it. You don't want me to. You don't want me to give you another clue. No, because it's Ernest Hemingway. It is Ernest Hemingway. Ten points for Craig. Very good. Very good. Now we go on to the next card, and we will start with Mike. Mike, this time I'm aware. So aware could be a city, a continent, a country. Could be a body of water. Uh, and in this case, it is. I am a river. This is for Mike. I am a Amazon. river. Amazon. River? Amazon. Amazon is a good guess. Um, and now it's um, Moogie's turn. Moogie, Mark Twain knows my waters well. The Missouri River? No, it's not the Missouri. Craig, oh, I'm you. an idiot. <laughs> Craig, we're going to you. Okay. Craig. I'm the second longest river in the United States. Could it be the Mississippi River? The Mississippi is correct. Another 10 oh, points what a Craig. Good. Very good. And since Craig got it right, we now go to Mike again. Mike, this time I'm going to be a another place. A where am I? Are you ready? I'm ready. I am the coldest of the continents. The coldest of the continents. Where am I? Antarctica. Antarctica is correct. Mike gets 10 points. That was on the first clue. Very good. 
All right, Moogie, are you ready? Nope. This is card number four. <laughs> this is a what. We haven't done a what before. A what is something that isn't a who and isn't a where. So let's see if you can figure this out. I am a musical instrument. <laughs> trumpet. A trumpet is a really good guess, but that's not it. Mm. Craig, now we go to you. My first version was created in Italy in 1709. I'm a musical instrument. I was created in Italy in 1709. Five seconds, Craig. A violin. A violin. That's a good guess. They make really good violins in Italy, but this is not a violin. Mm. Now, Mike, we go to you. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. The Germans made improvements in on me in the 1800s. The Germans improved me in the 1800s. An accordion. An accordion. No, that's not mm. right. <laughs> Moogie, we're back to you with clue number four. We know I'm a musical instrument. We know I was invented in Italy. We know the Germans improved me. Um, and here is your clue. Composers use me as their instrument of choice for composing. Piano? Piano's correct, Moogie. You got one right. 10 points for Moogie. That's Here's surprising. our fifth card in, in, in round one. This is another place. Craig, are you ready? Yes. OK. I am a national monument in the US. Uh, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is a good guess. And it's correct. No! <laughs> good job, Craig. That's the end. That's the end of round one. Um, Annika, can you give us a recap, please? Sure thing, Bob. So the score as it stands at the end of round one has Craig in the lead with 30 points. And Mike and Moogie are tied with 10 points apiece. Okay, we're going to go to round two in just a second. Round two is each, each correct answer is going to be worth uh, 20 points. We're doubling the stakes for round two. But before we do that, I'd like to just say hello to each of our contestants today. Craig, you are, uh, are our returning champion from episode two. Uh, just wanted to see how life is with you in the red room. It's good. I'm yeah. enjoying myself. And are you now getting out more? Um, you know, we're now, for people viewing this, like in 2021, 2022, this is, <laughs> this is the end of the pandemic, we hope. Uh, we now are in the middle of June in 2020. And are you able to get out, Craig, and see uh, people and do things? Yes, yes, and out in the Red Room, in fact. Seeing okay. all of you virtually, of course. Okay. It's good. Well, we wish you good luck. Uh, you're, you're winning the first round. We hope you win today. And Mike? How are you doing? You're our first contestant from outside the United States. Where are you today? I'm in a little place called Reading, which is 45 minutes west of Heathrow in the UK. So you're outside of London. And yeah. this is the first time, as far as I know, that any game show has had an international contestant base uh, that are actually in their location. So we are now filming this from the UK and from the US. And Mike, we welcome you as our first international competitor. So good Lovely luck to be here. Good win this. We're, we're, we're gonna hope that this isn't too American for you. And then our third contestant is a young man from uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Mugi, uh, how are you doing today? Should I answer that honestly or? <laughs> no, you should not answer it honestly. You should say, I'm doing great. I'm so happy to be here. This is the best time I've had since March 14th. Fantastic. Um, well, let's see if we can make you a winner. We, we, we would love to have you be the winner today uh, if Craig and Mike can't win. <laughs> <laughs> so are you ready? Let me explain how round two is gonna work. I'm going to, it's gonna be the same kind of cards and mystery topics as round one. The difference is instead of us going slowly to each person, you're all three gonna play at the same time. So when you think you know the answer, you sound your devices. Moogie, let's hear yours. Very good, and Craig? And Mike. Okay, 
So when I hear those sounds, I'll recognize you. Don't yell out the answer until I recognize you. And uh, each person only gets one guess per card. So if you guess too early, you're out of it, unless you're correct. And if you wait too long, another contestant may get in and get the 20 points. Is everybody ready? Yo. Here yep. we go. <clears throat> what am I? I am an item of clothing. Women often wear me. Yes, Mike. Bra. A bra is incorrect. Mm. Ah. I was first seen in 1946. Sports Illustrated has a special issue. Every yes, my, uh, whatever your name is. Craig. <laughs> uh, the bikini. The bikini is correct for 20 points. Good job, Craig. Now we'll go on to the next one. Everybody ready? Who am I? I could be living. I could be dead. I could be real or fictional. I could be male or female. I also could be a cartoon character um, like Mickey Mouse or, or a group. I am a British songwriter and singer. I was born in 1942 in Liverpool, England. Yes, Moogie. Paul McCartney? Paul McCartney's correct for 20 points. Oh, Moogie! You got it before the Brit. That's very good. <laughs> I, dropped, I dropped my bell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's our, our third card. There are six cards in round two. What am I? I'm a musical instrument. I am part of big bands and orchestras. Moogie guessed me in the last <laughs> question. Yes, Moogie. Piano? No. Mm. Yes, oh, yes oh, Mike. No. Mike, what? Trumpet. Trumpet's correct, Mike. 20 points for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you did guess piano, but you guessed trumpet first. <laughs> All right, are we ready? We're going on to the next one. As you can see, I'm allowed to do audibles on the clues just to keep you jumping, guys. I'm a person. I could be living or dead. Real or fictional, male or female. I'm an actor. I was born in 1949 in Chicago, and I died in 1982. I had an unpredictable and very physical style of... Yes, Craig. John Belushi. John Belushi is correct for 20 points. Good job, Craig. Thank you. All right. Um, what am I? This is a what. I was invented in 1888. I am found in the bathroom. Yes, Moogie. Toilet? No, not a toilet, mm. although that is a good guess, invented by Thomas Crapper in the 1880s, but it was not a toilet. Both men and women are known to use me. I can help you smell nice. Some of me have a ball at the end. I am used after a shower. Yes, Mike. Oh. That was not correct. It's just what you have, Craig. Um, I am used to stop body odor. Um. You have a guess, Craig? I'll give you one more clue. Okay. I can also smell like nothing. Uh, a shower. The answer is deodorant. Deodorant. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Here is our last clue in round in 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 uh, round two. And um, can you give us a recap, please, Annika? AQ. I sure can. So right now, Craig is in the lead with seventy points, and Mike and Willie are still tied in thirty points apiece. Okay. As has as is and has been our custom since the first episode of Smart Ass, we sometimes change the point value. This card will be worth forty points. If Craig gets it correct, he's going to be a winner. If either Moogie or Mike get it correct, they will be tied for first with Craig, and we will have a tiebreaker. Are you ready? Okay, it sounds like you guys are barking to play. Here we go. <laughs> Who am I? I am a composer. I was born in Austria in 17... Yes. Mozart. Who? Mozart. Mozart, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is correct. Mike gets 40 points. Mike ties with Craig. We go into the tiebreaker. 
And the tiebreaker for round two is going to be a what am I? Are you ready? Yep. Wait a second. No, it's not. Uh, yes, it is. A what am I? I am an item that comes in pairs. Some think of me as a fashion statement. Young children find me difficult to master. Yes, Mike. Shoe. Shoe is incorrect. No. This is just for you, Craig. I can get tied up in knots. I am usually tied in a bow. Shoelace? What? Shoelace. Shoelace is correct. Craig gets 40 points. Craig is the winner of round two. And now we're going to go to round three. And uh, for round three, it's going to be Craig only. I'm going to ask Annika to give me 60 seconds on the clock. Craig is going to get $10 um, of, for, towards a gift certificate at rugame.com for every correct answer. And if Craig can get 15 correct in 60 seconds, Craig will win $1 million. Oh, just 15? Okay, let's do 15. this. Are you ready, Craig? I am. I am a, uh, Annika, do we have 60 seconds on the clock? Let's let the clock start. Here it goes. I'm a legendary hero. No one knows whether I really existed. Some say my real name is Loxley. I've been selling. Robin Hood. Robin Hood's correct. I am a U.S. state. This is a where am I? I became a state in 1816. Former Vice President Dan Quayle called me home. Indiana. Where? Indiana. That's correct. Here's a place. I am an island country. I am composed of two major islands. My people speak English. I have more sheep than people. My native people are called Maori. New Zealand. New Zealand's correct. Um, what am I? I am a domestic bird. I am raised for meat and eggs. Water, chicken. No, not a chicken. Water rolls off my back feathers. Duck. Duck. Okay, next one. You're doing very well. Thank I you. am largely made of carbon. A what am I? I sparkle. I'm a gem. I'm very hard. Diamond. Diamond is correct. Let's go to the next one. Come on, read faster. What? Read mm -hmm. faster. So sorry, we're out of time. I, mean, I can get the million if you're stats. <laughs> I apologize. You almost got the million. You needed 15. And you got five. So you were just about there. So close. Yeah. Um, is that a third of a million? No, he gets $50 in <laughs> okay. gift certificates. It's 10 for each one, but if you get all 15, then you get the million dollars. Um, well, that's our game for today, and uh, Craig is the winner. But what we're going to do is we're going to invite all three contestants to come back tomorrow, come back next time, and uh, let's see if we can defeat Craig. Moogie, are you ready for another try? I guess so. Okay, and then how about you, Mike? I know it's, it's getting late there in uh, England, but would you be able to join us again next time? I'm going to win next time. All right, good. Well, what we'll do is we will uh, say goodbye to all of you. You guys can all say, um, I'll tell you what I'd like you to say. Go big, be a smart ass. And then Annika and I will wave goodbye and we'll see everyone next time. Thanks for viewing in. So go big, be a smart ass. One, two, three. Go, go big, go big, big, big be, be a smart ass. Be a smart ass. All right, that's it. Thank you. And thank you everyone watching. And uh, in terms of prizes, Moogie in third place will win a $100 gift certificate. Mike will win a $200 gift certificate. And Craig will be adding to his winnings uh, the $50 on top of $300. So that's $350 plus his prior winnings bring Craig up to, I think it's $6,220. So Craig is really running a, a, a big thing here. And we'll see him again next time to defend his championship. That's it from Smartass to Game Show. Goodbye, everyone.